What is up, planet? It is the priest. I'm back with another pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, this was the top highly requested video from my Patreon planet for the month. So in this video, I'm gonna be looking at where your highest potential is, what could possibly be blocking you, where your fears are, and ultimately what you need to learn to reach your highest potential. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to the planet where we embrace love, freedom, happiness, and most importantly, truth. Shout out to all my new subscribers. I just hit 125 thousand subscribers i'm truly grateful every day that i wake up i'm literally amazed at how fast that my channel has taken off and the support that i've gotten all over the country so thank you again showing my gratitude to you guys if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading with me discovering more information about my book which i will be dropping january 2020 my online tarot course or any other information you can find in the description box below or you can follow me on instagram where i'm way more interactive with you guys and keeping you updated with what I have going on and so forth. So today I have four different decks for you guys to choose from. Also, if you need to pause the video and see which deck is pulling towards you or your intuition is leading you to, you can definitely do so. If you guys are struggling between choosing between one or two decks, look away, look back again, whichever stone or deck calls to you first is probably gonna be the deck or the choice for you. We have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. All right, let's figure out what you need to learn to reach your highest or fullest potential. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is what you need to learn or know in order to reach your highest or fullest potential. All right, let's see what your full potential is and the overall energy for this deck is the divine director. So automatically, I already know that your guys' fullest potential is going to require a lot more than just your normal work because you guys got this card this is all about purpose this is also a maturity in spirituality that is required in order for you to reach your fullest potential anytime this card comes up this means that you're being called to leadership you're being called to uh, create something differently than what has been done before so it's going to require a lot of faith and a lot of trust in order for you guys to reach your fullest potential automatically and right off the, the jump. But what's interesting also is we have the divine director. So already I'm getting messages that you guys need to move out of the way and let the divine work its magic. So it's like you guys have been given this vision of what it looks like to be your greatest. So you guys have this vision, you have this dream, you know exactly what that looks like. And so now what has happened is you've taken it into your own hands instead of allowing the divine to direct you. So it is a conflict because you have been directing your own life, but divine needs to come in and sort of lead you on that path. Okay, let's see what else is going on for you guys. Yeah, share your voice. So you guys have a, a major purpose in sharing the truth, sharing your truth, whatever that looks like for you. So the standards for you are much more higher and much more required than your average Joe, basically. You're, you're unique, you're special, you're supposed to stand out. So with sharing your voice, this is a part of who you are destined to be, right? Remember, this is the overall deck, the divine director. So this is your full potential. Your full potential is being completely happy, fulfilled, and also living in your purpose. That is your highest potential. So with that comes sharing your voice, how you can mother yourself. So a lot of you need to nurture yourself. This is about you, this journey of working on yourself. Again, like I said, this is given to you, it's required. You're reaching higher heights, higher levels. One thing that I'm getting is everyone can't go with you. Like you, you're going to have to adjust and realign your life majorly. Um, this is what you're learning now is to become more self-aware of who you are because you have this vision and you're like, I know I'm supposed to be great, but again, it's about mothering yourself, nurturing yourself into this director position, into your purpose, idealistically. All right, let's see what else, what, what else we have here. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So you guys could be a Capricorn like me, or you can have Capricorn in your chart or a Capricorn could be part of um the part of your plan so you could have a friend or someone around you that is a capricorn that helps you or guides you or you could have capricorn in your chart either way it goes what this tells me is that you guys are analytically thinking about the plan 
So what has happened is you have this vision of yourself and you, yes, you're taking matters into your own hands and you're drained. So what happened is you have this dream and vision and you're psyching yourself out. You're like, okay, I'm supposed to be this great person. Where do I start? Okay, I'm gonna do this, this and that. I'm gonna work overtime. Two things here. One, you're in the way. So when divine gives you a vision or a purpose, that doesn't mean that it's for you to do all of the work. You have divine, you have, you have to relinquish control, kind of let it go, let things flow and trust in source. You have to trust in the divine to help you make this happen. So it's kind of like the divine has given you this and you've taken it and ran with it instead of allowing the divine to direct you in the right path. So again, like me, Capricorn, um, you will prolong your process if you feel like you have to take matters into your own hands and create the exact plan. Because remember, the divine doesn't work like one plus one equals two. The divine or source, universe, God, whatever you choose to believe works like, okay, you're excited, go to this event, you go to the event, you meet this person, they're like, wow, we need someone to do that. That would be great, can you do that? Next thing you know, you're in this whole entire different plan, you meet the right people and you're where you need to be. That's how intuition and spirit will work in your life. But because you have the vision, you kind of psyched yourself out because you're like, oh my gosh, I have so much potential, I have so much work to do and you're overworking yourself and you're trying to make this happen. And divine is like, I'm going to make this happen. You just have to follow the path. So this tough cycle is kind of like you've created it for yourself. Yeah, eight of swords. So imprisonment, I release myself from self-inflicted binds. This is fears, doubts, disbeliefs. This is a mental battle that you have to release because a lot of you feel like you have to do this to accomplish it, but it's okay to ask for help not just from other people, but from the divine, from source, from God, because you were not given this seed to plant it by yourself. You have help, but you have to be open to receiving and asking for help um, because there is someone around you or definitely the divine who is like, you know, there's a little bit of stubbornness there. I only know because again, it's Capricorn. So <laughs> you also have this belief that you have to work hard in order to achieve greatness. That's a limited belief because you can have fun and in that fun, creative flow of energy, actually produce and manifest more. So what you need to learn is trusting the divine, knowing yourself, self-awareness, who are you, right? You know that you're great, but who are you? What does that encompass? And then also the divine God universe, you have to get closer with spirituality because the things that you're meant to do here, these dreams, right? Dreams are basically when you have a dream or a vision of yourself or imagination of yourself and where you're going, it's almost like you have a peek into a spiritual realm. So in order to achieve these things, it is going to happen through a spiritual path. So it's necessary to have that relationship and trust with the divine to direct you. Because once you're, you're the student now, but you become the teacher and it requires a level of spirituality. So ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. You guys are doing too much. You're overthinking it right? So you have to learn to let things go. Let, and I know easier said than done. I get it. But this is where the trust comes in. The faith comes in because ultimately you guys have a story or you have something to share or your voice is very influential to where you're, where you're going. But right now it's about you. It's some alone time with yourself to self self awareness before you can self actualize. All right. So this tough cycle is ending. Again, this tough cycle has been created by you. So a lot of the challenges in your life are the repercussions of the thoughts that are creating your reality. So everything around you, you're creating. And God, source is trying to come in and help you. I am inspired to follow my passion. So you guys are also going to have a lot more inspiration into doing that. Now with this 10 of Gabriel, this is about, again, overwhelming. You guys are very overwhelmed because you're like, okay, not only are you overwhelmed, but you've already been through this before, heal. So you've had rejection, you've had ideas that didn't work out. You've had jobs that didn't work out. You've heard no, 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 no. No, not the right time. So you guys are just like, oh my God, when is this going to happen? And so when it happens is when you relinquish the need to control the pathway, you already have 
All you have to do is follow, literally, and this it will guide you there and follow your passion and believe and trust in your ideas because you have to heal from the rejection of the things falling through that you thought would not fall through. Letting go of the past, letting go of things that didn't work out because you're dwelling so much on what didn't happen versus what can happen. All right, let's see what else is going on. Three of Pentacles, yeah, again, this is about teamwork. So now is the time to allow divine and other people to help you. Spiritual coach, spiritual life coach, something to help you because you guys are blocking your own um, potential. You have a lot of doubts about being this great person that you're already meant to be. You are made to be great and influential. You're a leader with a voice who needs to express their true authentic self, not caring about pleasing other people, not caring about others. Remember that competition, mm, there's no such thing as competition. Everyone has their limited beliefs. So you have to focus on your limited beliefs. And the more and more you remove them, like, mm, I don't have to work hard. I don't have to work hard to reach my fullest potential. Boom, got rid of that belief. Now you're excelling. Then you hit the next belief. And it's just constantly removing these thorns that are blocking your success because this is self-inflicted. This is imprisonment mentally of you. You have to believe that you can do it. Yeah, give it to God. <laughs> give it to God. <laughs> this massive amount of planning you cannot create by yourself. You need help. And that's okay. Again, with Capricorn and overlooking things and overanalyzing how you need to do it, that's why you're burnt out because you're trying to do it all on your own. Okay? Give it to God. Take a deep breath and exhale. Release the situation to God for healing and answers. Healing is coming from feeling like you've been failing. Remember that failure is simply a word measured by perception, your definition, and your opinion. You know, it's subjective. What is failure? You have to think about if failure is actually real or is it your mind creating it because you're dwelling on the things that have not happened. I trust my knowing and follow my heart. So this is all about learning how to trust your direction, your ideas, but also your, the divine. God, creator, okay? Six of Raphael. Embrace your inner child, new friends and rekindled friendships, childhood or child uh, or children. Some of you guys are heavily connected to children because there's, there again, we have heal and we have children. This is the six of cups. This is about the past. A lot of you are still stuck on the past. Whether it's like, wow, I should have never done that. I should have never done this. Why did I do this? Let it go and move forward. You have to, um, there, the blockages also from reaching your full potential, the answers are in your childhood. You're repeating these things. This is on an auto loop. So all those doors that were closed in your face, rejection is like the biggest thing that I'm feeling like you guys may be struggling with. And it's not just relationships or people. It's rejection from um, trying to get a better promotion at your job or trying to start a business or trying to be the best parent you can be or the best friend you can be and you're just feeling like you're losing. And so this is actually repopulating in your present moment. So you're basically living the past over and over like, well, I don't know if I should try that because last time. Those thoughts are what's also infringing. We also have the seven of cups here, dreams. Time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action in a need for detoxification. So detoxing. Remember when I started this, I said some people, everyone can't go with you. You are me. I'm telling you like this group, you, if you've chosen this deck, you have a high requirement and a level of purpose. Happiness is a big part of that purpose, but a lot of the people around you, you have to cleanse your aura and your atmosphere and make sure that you are, again, this is part of what you need to learn is your environment, being around more optimistic people who are going in the right direction because you also have to make a decision on what you want. You need to be very clear because some people are like, I don't know if I really want that. I thought I did, but I don't. This means taking the time to really make the decision because if you're giving the universe mixed signals and mixed, um, mixed emotions about things, then your frequency is all over the place. Be very clear and decisive on what it is that you want. This is kind of like a sanctuary place that I see you guys in. Let's see what this part is. Wow. Whew. Sanctuary. Yes. You guys need some time to yourself. 
take time out from the world and spend more time alone, but you also need help. See, that's the interesting thing about this group is that you need to spend more time alone, meditate or go on a retreat. It's like figuring out what you want, what makes you happy. And, and that is part of your purpose. Your happiness is the key to your purpose. And when you learn this and you learn how to be alone also, because when you're alone, you're never alone. You're actually with spirit and source and God universe is trying to connect with you so heavily. So it's necessary for you to take time out from the world to figure out exactly what it is that you want and being clear and decisive, but also partnership. You can't do this alone. So while you're taking sanctuary, don't completely isolate yourself, you know, research, do YouTube videos, write notes and, and really spend some time in study with what you want and even a life coach or a spiritual advisor, whatever you need to help you. That doesn't mean sanctuary is like, okay, I can't see people ever again. Do not call me. Like, no, just set aside a block of time for yourself. You know, don't, do not isolate yourself so much where you're not having fun because then you will block passion and creativity. Ace of Ariel. So new opportunities are coming in. New money is coming in also, but I wanted to talk about the partnership. Teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with. So a lot of you, um, again, have to establish trust. Remember I said that? Trust with the divine, with God, but also trust that other people can help you in, in opening up to allow people to help you, all right? You have to establish that trust. And again, the lack of trust is coming from childhood. Like, why do you not trust people to help you? Because the universe is sending you people to help you on your path. Build up a talented support team. So again, sanctuary, but also partnership. So have an equal balance. All right, so yes, you have money coming in or an opportunity or something tangible, it's your lucky day, new resources of money, time, or support, a change in job or promotion. So again, a lot of you guys are overworking way too many hours. It says working too many hours. It's too much. Your results are gonna be limited because you're overworking yourself so much to the point where you're exhausting yourself and you're overwhelmed. That is the 10 of Gabriel. That is the 10 of wands, okay? It's someone who literally feels like they have the weight of the world, but this is what you've created in your pathway. Last but not least, growing up. Remember I said, it's this child, it's this past I, uh, of who you are also changing your identity and shifting that. Growing up, wanting to grow and experience rejection. I literally just said this. And, I, and like I tell you guys, I don't look at these cards. This is just the messages that I'm getting. Growing up, it's time to grow up, to, to take responsibility for the reality that you've been creating and try something new. Try something new this time. This something new is going to give you different results. So perpetual youth, rejection in youth. Something that has happened in your past or your childhood is basically creating that. So you're growing up, but your parents, your guidance and your guider this time is source and divine. So ultimately what you're learning is to trust, to open up more, to express yourself, to let things go, to not over exhaust yourself to release yourself mentally, to be free, free to dream, spending more time alone, um, shifting your atmosphere and the people around you so that you can have better um, better energy around you pouring into you. So if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and what you need to learn or know in order to reach your fullest and highest potential. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get words of encouragement back to you guys. Stay encouraged always, stay uplifted, love and light to you. I'm gonna move on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is what you need to learn or know in order to reach your fullest or highest potential. Let's start off with what is your highest or fullest potential. Supreme protection, you are protected. Move beyond limitation and trust. Cords are being cut. Let's see what else is here. Longing for home, belonging, the original light worker. So if you've chosen this deck, you are a star seed. You are a light worker. You're actually longing. A lot of you are longing for happiness, but it's really home. It's that feeling where you have no worries, no concerns. Uh, a lot of you are wanting a break, I feel like. But this is about your own desires, like what you desire and what it is that you want to do and want to achieve. So your highest potential is based on the limitations that you've had on yourself. So the reason why you're not excelling is because you've, you have a lot of limited beliefs 
and limitations that you've placed on yourself. And we're going to get into that. Feeling alone. Yeah. So some of you guys are feeling alone. This is a disconnect from spirit. All right. Immediately when you're feeling alone, it is a disconnect from your higher self, but it's for a purpose. Some of you are also going into to having to take some time to yourself to become more self-aware of who you are and what it is that you're here to do. Letting things flow, relinquishing control and allowing things to happen. Answered prayers. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. So like I said, a lot of you are looking for a breakthrough, but the reason why you're going through this is because source or divine God, whatever you believe, is asking what it is that you want. What is it that you want? Courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. So what you need to learn is fear. All right, let's talk a little bit about fear. Fear is not real. It is projected from ego, from your mind. So a lot of you want to do great things. You know that you're supposed to achieve greatness. However, you have a lot of fear that is holding you back. All right, fear is an illusion. That's what the card says. You are safe. So you have to allow things to flow, but you also have to take, for you guys, I feel like this is more about taking a leap of faith. All right, taking a leap of faith into your desires and the things that you actually want in life. Let's see what else is here. Receive, a lot of you, yes, struggling with receiving. So when it comes to law of attraction or manifestation, there are two pivotal points that a lot of people don't really talk about when they're manifesting. It feels great, they're like, yes, I'm gonna put it into the atmosphere. Today I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a millionaire, I'm gonna be a millionaire, I'm gonna be a millionaire. I don't believe in the affirmations if you are not in a place to receive and if you are resisting it, all right? So those are the two things that I'm hearing for you guys. Be open to receiving good things happening in your life. Now, it may not come to you exactly how you thought it was going to, but that's a part of being able to receive. So a lot of us are asking for happiness or we're asking for um, to be the greatest version of yourself, but you have to be willing to receive. In order to do that, you have to believe that you're worthy of happiness, love, abundance. A lot of us subconsciously reject it because we don't feel like we're worthy of it. And that that is a very deep subconscious level of fear that has been recreated. And it's like, why would I feel like I don't deserve it? Because, you know, it seems sometimes it seems too good to be true. And so right now, Source wants to give you the hearts of your desire. However, you have to believe that you're worthy of them. And sometimes what that looks like is tearing a lot of shit down. So if you're asking for happiness, you're asking for these things, Source is like, okay, well, I'm going to need you to make this sacrifice. And it's not a sacrifice like you have to give up, but you do have to give up the egotistical things to be able to receive better. And a gift that is coming to you soon is what's here. So answer prayers. Things, If things are feeling like they're not shifting in your life, guys, you're learning courage. You're learning to go after what it is that you truly want. And you're also questioning if it's worth compromising. A lot of the things in your life, are they worth compromising your happiness? All right? So being able to receive friendship. Also, spend more time with your soul family, people who are spiritually trying to grow. This question alone, what do I need to learn to reach my highest potential, tells me that you are in a place to grow, to ask a question such as, so surround yourself with people who are also trying to grow and reach their highest potential because your highest potential is a, is a light worker, is a star seed. It also, spirituality is an important part of your journey is also what I'm getting. You guys could be a cancer. You don't have to be, or there could be someone important around you that is a cancer that will help you um, reach your highest potential. You and your loved ones are safe. Look at this. We have this twice. You are safe. A lot of you guys are afraid. You are safe, right? So for you, what you have to learn is one, allowing things to flow, being open to receiving, whether that's help for some of you, um, guidance, support, asking for help, but also you have this fear that if you take this leap of faith that you won't be safe, but you will, that's coming from fear. So this safety thing is something that's really big for you guys. 
And so it's interesting because it is a spiritual journey that you guys are on too. And we also have protection. You are protected. This tells me that you need to really deepen your connection with divine God in you in universe. Like this is something that that will really heal you and help you on your path because there's a lot of fear here and we have trust. So let's see what else is here. Yeah, tower. Things I just said like shit is falling apart. Tower card. Okay? You guys could be a Scorpio, you don't have to be. But with the tower card, this again like I always say, it doesn't mean that things are falling out of place. They're falling into place. So a lot of things are going to be shifting in your life in order for you because you guys are asking to reach your fullest potential so universe and god is like okay you have to get rid of this this and that and that because this is blocking that right so with the tower it's surrendering a lot of you have had opportunities that have come around that were supposed to help you reach your fullest potential but you were distracted you were wrapped up in other things basically and so this time around, it's surrendering because if you don't surrender to the pathway and to God, then you prolong the process and you miss the ship. So things are falling apart. But when you're surrendering, you're also opening up yourself to support from spirit so that you can be guided appropriately. And so you can know how to move forward in life. Strength card. So you guys could be a Leo. You don't have to be. So yeah, a lot of you guys are exhausted. It says, I can deal with whatever comes my way. A lot of you are like, I'm tired of being strong. Like, I know I'm supposed to do great things. I know I have full potential of being this great person that I'm called to be, which is what? Let's see. Whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing, your dreams are worthy of going after. And nothing is more important than your dreams and your happiness for you guys, death number two. So with the strength, it's like God is trying to take a lot of the weight off of you. But again, you guys have to surrender. You're learning how to surrender. In order to surrender, you also have to trust and establish a better relationship with spirit so you can understand that. Five of cups, I will move forward when the time is right. So that's the problem is you guys are kind of like on a standstill right now with moving forward. All right. It says, seek out your soul family. So this is also a spiritual guide or someone who can help you um, along your path, because even with the courage and the strength, this is definitely fire energy, Leo energy, Sagittarius energy, Aries energy. There's a stubbornness there. You guys have to open up and allow people in to help you and move forward. Because there's a lot of heartbreak here. There's a lot of heartbreak. There are a lot of things that you feel like have not fell through for you. And it's like, when is this going to happen? Answer prayer is here. It's going to happen. But you have to be willing and ready to receive it, however it looks like. You know, you guys might ask for something to help you along your path. And someone comes along and you meet them at the grocery store. And you're completely oblivious to them being sent by the divine. So make sure that you're aware and observant and also in a place of receiving, especially help. Queen of Raphael. So follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. So the queen is all about understanding, giving psychic abilities. So again, this is a very spiritual debt. I feel like you guys are learning how to become more spiritual and that just is a fancy way of saying learning how to become closer to your intuition and your instincts. A lot of you know the truth, you know what you have to do, but you're resisting that. So don't fight that, surrender it and trust. And that's gonna take time. That's a process, all right? So this is about following your heart. Your heart is your now your guider because I feel like there's like, there's trust issues that you guys have with, with spirit. So for you, I want you guys to examine your relationship with God, that word God. OK, and start tracing back to where you felt like the trust was broken or with whom you felt like the trust was broken, because in order to let things flow and just like, you know, coast, you have to trust. And I just feel like there's a heavy level of lack of trust um, in order to allow these things to happen, because it is about what makes you happy and and not not external things, not people. This is an inside job for you guys. OK, 
So follow your heart. You And this is hard to do because also with the, the fire energy, pride, right? It takes courage to, to put your pride aside and say, okay, I need help. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I know I have this potential. I want to do these things, but I don't know how. That vulnerability is what you guys are learning and what you need to know in order to um, achieve full, full greatness. Following your heart, a love of home. Home and home is here twice. Um, there's a lot of like love and emotions in this, uh, in this stone, if you guys chose this. Some of you guys could also be twin flames because I have a five of cups in home. Anytime we're using that word home, uh, it's all about your connection with not just the light worker, but also the twin flame journey. But that twin flame is about the mission and the purpose. So it's all connected, basically. Everything in your life is coming together and connecting. You just have to be aware of it. And so along for home and family, trustworthy psychic information. So again, you guys have to find someone that you trust that can help you. New beginning is here. So a new beginning is here, not because of not because of the new year, not because of a new month or nothing like that. This is about a shift in perspective. You guys are finally getting ready to do something differently, which is good. I commend you guys on that. That takes a lot of work to try something new. So you're starting a new life and finding your purpose. And this time you're like, I'm serious about this. And so this is great. Uh, you have new beginnings coming, new cycles, but also finding your purpose requires a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So some things in the past need to be mended before you guys can move forward in a new beginning. Remember this new beginning is as soon as you shift your mindset and what you're learning is boom, everything falls, falls together. So this is about finding your purpose. Two of Gabriel, uh, make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So the two of wands is about making a decision. So you guys have a decision to make. This kind of sounds similar to my 2020 video but for this deck it's like are you going to do the same thing you did for the past few years or is this year or this time in your life even today because today could be a new year it's all perspective are you going to do the same thing or are you open to trying something new that's what universe is saying are you open to you know because there's a little bit of hard-headedness there god's like are you ready now are you ready to start something new and so make bold ambitious choices don't settle for less and then also examining the process that you've made okay great progress is possible and then in relationships we have friendship and relationships important people are coming in part of your soul tribe so be aware of the new people coming in divine is sending you help in order to reach your full potential because a lot of you guys again allow people to help you clearing negativity from within and around you this is your thoughts negativity is the things from the past holding on to things from the past um, lack of trust, right? So this is about clearing your energy and starting new too. So you can't have a new beginning if you have the same energy, all right? And last but not least, you can't go back to yesterday. So this, what you guys are learning overall when I'm getting for deck number two is not reliving the past, okay? You can't go back to yesterday, be in the present moment, living in the now, not living in the future, not living in the past, but being in the present moment because we know that in the present moment we are actually alive, we're living, we're existing. And so you guys are learning how new, the word new, new beginnings. New beginnings with old people, which require you a level of forgiveness and letting go of resentment or anything else that can stop or hinder your progress because people, friendships and relationships are important to your journey. And so that's why you guys are challenged with so much trust. So that is definitely essential to where it is that you're going. Your fullest potential is you, you're going to reach your fullest potential, but it's going to require a level of trust and a level of facing your fears. All right. You and your loved ones are safe because of the fear of not being protected, the fear of losing. All right. That that's, that's a big one. Fear of losing is coming up. So let things flow. You're letting things flow. You're learning courage to take, take the leap of faith and then also figuring out what it is that you are desired to do. So if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and what you need to know or learn to reach your highest or fullest potential. Don't forget to comment down below so I can leave words of encouragement. In the meantime, love and light to you guys. I'm moving on to deck number three.
All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and what you need to know or learn to reach your highest or fullest potential. All right, let's see what your highest or fullest potential is. Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time towards happiness. So this highest potential is to be happy without having to depend on external beings or sources to do so. So you're on this path of awakening and self-awareness also. Passion, what excites you? Do what excites you, get fired up about your life, increase your energy levels. So some of you guys are down and out and this is because you aren't really living in your passion. You're not living in your passion or your purpose. And so um, you're dwelling kind of on that. And so you need to do something to increase your levels, have fun, be creative, think outside the box, um, your surroundings, your, the people that you're hanging out with, changing your atmosphere and awareness, living in the moment. So this seems to be a common factor already with most of these groups. This is about getting out of the past and allowing a new uh, future to come forth and living in the moment. So not, not living in the past, but being aware of your thoughts, being cautious of these thoughts, look for signs and guidance. So the universe, God, whatever you believe is trying to reach out to you. And so this is, you guys are in a path right now of a severe self-awareness of discovering who you are. So if you're wondering what excites you, you have to know who you are that is the one that is excited. So that's where you guys need to start. You're a little bit ahead of yourself in following the excitement, but who are you? What are you? That's where you guys, what, where you need to learn and take the lead. Also, a lot of you, I'm feeling like, are allowing other people to be the pilot of your plane. Your plane is your destiny, right? So whether that's working for a company or um, not making decisions in your life or not going after what you're passionate about, a lot of you are compromising your passion to achieve or help other people do that. And so what that means is it's, it's more so like taking control of your life, taking lead of that, being in your emperor energy. There's a lot of fire energy here. So this is about your passion. So you're doing and you're working. And I want you to think about the percentage of your life that you're giving, whether it's to another company, to your friends, to your family, and not to you. So right now, this is about you and what excites you. And what you're learning how to do is take the lead and um, simply love. So love is also a part of what you need to learn in order to reach your highest potential. Let's see what else is here. Wow, we have the king and the queen of pentacles. This is a lot of abundance. So your guys' highest potential is to be very infinitely abundant. It's a lot of prosperity. That is like your highest potential is to be prosperous, to have the abundance and the finances, to do what it is that you want to do. A lot of you are seeking freedom in order and understanding that abundance is just a resource and tool to allow you to have more freedom or yeah, it, more freedom in your life. So a lot of you guys have a partner that's gonna help you uh, reach your fullest potential. So if you guys are in relationships or you have someone around you, this is, I have everything I need to prosper and I am sure of my place in the world. So this is about financial security that you guys are seeking or desiring. Financial freedom is what I hear, but financial security and then having everything you need to prosper. But again, you have to know who you are because if you are abundance, then abundance cannot be apart from you. If you knew that, then you would be achieving that. So there's a, a little bit of blockage there. So let's just see what that's about. First, let's get rid of these. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you guys are, man, entrepreneurship is all over this. Also, uh, you protect what matters to me. I protect what matters to me, which is basically your passion and your excitement and your happiness is what matters. I calmly make the best decision possible. So some of you are going to have to make some decisions here. Uh, regarding finances in your finance your finance decisions that you're making a lot of you i feel like you're working for a company you're overworking yourself it's not what you're passionate about and you desire to do something passionate that brings you a lot of income and so you're trying to figure out how to do that and you're looking for some type of breakthrough but you have to follow your values and what excites you to in order to do that yeah so also your purpose is a big part of uh, your highest potential. Double mission is here, channeling and uplifting humanity. So you have something to either say or do that's uplifting humanity and channeling it. But you also have, you are not alone. 
and your ancestors stand beside you. So you have guides that I don't feel like you guys have actively um, adjusted that relationship with. You've been training for this for lifetimes, the age of the light. So you guys are here to do some, some work that's beneficial for passion and purpose. So group number three, this is about passion and purpose for you guys. You're on a path and you're taking one step to happiness and the things that you actually want to do in life, but you also have to protect what matters to you. And if happiness matters, then the things that are not making you happy need to be adjusted. Seven of Ariel, you have invested wisely, have patience. This is all about money. Like, I don't know, maybe it's because it's the green stone, but like I say, I just shuffle these out each deck, different decks. So this is about money for you guys, but patience too. Patience with yourself. You have to take one step at a time. A lot of you are trying to rush the pro process. It's the progress that you guys need to be aware of. Um, you've invested wisely, have patience and wait for your harvest. So start sowing seeds of what excites you and your desires. It's time to invest in that also i'm hearing like whether that stocks or putting money aside for the things that you're passionate about doing um because it says review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor it's time to start planning something this is all about financial gain for you guys and your full potential has to do a lot with finances all right and you guys have the most cards i think too so you guys definitely have like a major message here for you and we also have a new way of thinking change your perspective getting clarity on things, all right? A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. Learning how to communicate. Also, I feel like there will be people around you that will help you on this journey. And, but it's time to start planning your next endeavor. And you have a new idea that's coming in that you're passionate about that you guys have to put in as much effort, like the effort that you're putting into your job and your careers and helping other people grow their business could be the same time that you're putting into your own business. So when an idea comes, stick with it. Even if it takes a year, stick with it. Constantly have, uh, be resilient when it comes to your own desires. Because I feel like you guys have mastered being persistent with other people's companies or dreams, but not your own. So it's about, it's time for you guys. Control issues, okay? Utilize God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. So this is a two-way sword. This is about you controlling um, the situation and not allowing things to flow, which again, seems to be a common theme for what we all need to learn is to allow God's source universe to come in and help us. So with strength and power, and the people that are coming in, it says, instead of fearing that others may try to control you, this is more so coming from a lack of trust or people who have broken your trust in the past. But I feel like uh, the, the universe is trying to bring people in to help you also get fired up about your life and do what excites you. So this is interesting that you're fearing that others may try to control you. But again, that's because you desire to have freedom, your own financial freedom to do what you enjoy and love to do. Um, but you have to also think about, I'm hearing like where your time is being invested, okay? Because you guys definitely have this passion to want this to happen. Yeah, look at all this money here, luxury, abundance. Like if you've been given this idea that you're supposed to be wealthy, there's nothing wrong with that. But abundance is here again, and the nine is about luxury. Like the things that you guys are trying to achieve when you have the king and the queen, first of all, that's a counterpart partnership. So some of you will have businesses with your partner. I do see that. Now with this, your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success, a love for the beginning, beautiful things in life. So having a love for, for the things that you're doing. And this money and this drive for more finances is going to come from your passion. What you're passionate about and fired up about is where most of your abundance is going to come in. So for instance, if you guys are an entrepreneur or start trying to start an endeavor in entrepreneurship or having more money in your life, because again, this is part of your fullest potential, then this means that one, you're a leader, but you have to invest in what you're passionate about. So your dreams are being fulfilled and you're leading to great success and you will have that. Um, but you have to also have a love for the beautiful things in life, like freedom and time ready to love again you've healed from the past enough to open your heart to love so this is about again this is a lot for you guys 
This is about some of you desire not just to have financial freedom, but also a loving relationship. So there's some past healing that needs to happen in order for you guys to reach, reach that highest potential with another person. Uh, because you guys are so independent and doing things on your own, this is also about being open to help. Because again, you guys got control issues and ready to love again. So there are some fears from the past that are basically replaying out. So this is um, also relationship stuff for you guys that you desire to have. Let's see what else is here. Socialize or join in. Make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people. So yes, changing your surroundings and your atmosphere and um, being a part of supportive friendships that are helping you grow. Now, the fact that you guys desire to have this luxury and the success also means that it's gonna be important to surround yourself with like-minded people so that you can grow. Some people just can't go with you because you also, I feel like in the next few months, it's probably going to be two to three months. You're going to be, you're going to be so passionate about what excites you and fires you, fires you up about your life that a lot of people are going to be left behind because they're choosing not to go after what excites them. And so sometimes it can seem like a lonely journey, but basically it's about going to social events, networking events, getting yourself out there, getting your product, your service out there. Or if you guys do still want to work for another company, finding another company that that is introducing more passion and excitement into your life. New moon and eclipse. Expect powerful change. So we just had that new moon that just passed. It's it's a change. So a lot of you are waking up. You're like, OK, not where I want to be. The time just keeps ticking. What do I need to do to reach my fullest potential? Because I'm missing it. And these are all the things that are coming up, knowing that you're not alone, that you have help and also your spiritual, your spiritual relationship. But it's a, a powerful change and a shift that's happening in your guys' life right now. That is that seems like it's it's unexpected, but it's for a reason. So don't freak out, allow things to work out, but also follow your heart in the process. I believe that. Yeah. All right. Epiphany. Yeah. So you guys are going through. I, yeah, I was saying that this reminds me of the 2020 group. So I did have epiphany in the last 2020 group, but joy through spiritual growth. So this is about because abundance is spiritual. So this is also about your spiritual growth. And this is the tower too. So things are falling apart in your life to fall, fall together. But you have to ask yourself, what is most important to you? What are you most passionate about? What do you want the most to achieve? So be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. Oh, this is the hermit card. Sorry. The hermit card. So you guys could be a Virgo. You don't have to be. But the epiphany also does bring tower moments in your life. And sometimes it's like God is trying to get your attention for the past like few years. And you're like, ah, da, 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 da. and God's like, hello. And you're like, da, da, da. you were distracted. And so that's kind of where you are now is like, you're like, what have I been? like? Time is just going by so fast. And so it's hermit mode for you guys for a couple of months. I feel like answers are going to come through to you, but this is also a challenge with your mind. So this is a heart over mind battle. This isn't something that you can outthink. It's not a, these are not logical decisions. This is about what you feel inside. All right. So in the hermit mode, you're going to, you're going to have to be a light for yourself. All right. And this is about your spiritual growth in order to achieve these things. Now, your last card is follow the white rabbit. So a lot of you guys are basically in the matrix, right? Just lit, the white rabbit is basically uh, a sign for um, getting out of the matrix, right? Follow the white rabbit. This is curiosity. You've been doing the same things over and over and over again, expecting different results. And we all know that's the definition of insanity, right? So this is about trying something new also for you guys, group number three, and getting out of that systematic thing of feeling like you have to do the same thing every, every day. Okay. Try something new in your life, bring something to increase your energetic levels, but curiosity meets opportunity. Try new things, be open to new endeavors and new, new ideas and new things in your life. Okay. So all, overall, your spirit is trying to get you to a place of living freely, not thinking so much into it, having fun, opportunities are coming, doing what excites you and having your own journey. This is about you right now, but also knowing that you have protection here. Everything is unfolding out perfectly, but for this time, it's a little differently because you guys are going to be on a whole nother path. 
this path is much different from the path that you've ever taken. And so now it's about why are you still getting the same results or re reproducing the same results, okay? So really, really focusing on that. So what you're learning is definitely to trust, definitely to go after what it is that you're inspired to do, um, opening up, allowing people to help you, being patient as this process goes, learning more about abundance and what abundance is and your happiness and your passion, taking the lead in doing that and really asking yourself, what is the most important thing that matters to you? And, and why am I reproducing this reality over and over? So something new is required of you guys. And it's a, it's a shift in perspective. So that is your guys' reading. If you guys chose deck number three, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement and strength out to you guys. Always stay encouraged and uplifted on your journey. Love and light to you. I'm going to move on to the fourth deck. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and what do you need to know or learn in order to reach your highest or fullest potential. All right, so what is your highest or fullest potential? Care and compassion. So love is an important part of reaching your entire potential or well-being. So it says choose to be loved. Do what is right in order for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. But this also feels like choosing to be love, care, compassion for yourself, having care and compassion for yourself, um, especially when you look back on the decisions that you've made in life. So not being too hard on yourself. We have prosperity ahead, new moon in Taurus. You guys could be a Taurus. You don't have to be. All right, let's see what else we got. So justice, you could be a Libra. You don't have to be. I'm just calling out some signs again. Um, Ace of swords, I'm ready for a breakthrough. I speak truth and fairness to myself. I know that peaceful times will come. I am successful in all that I do. And the last card that I'm going to pull is let's see soul family so this group group four feels like a heavier group as far as the messages like you guys are really in a place that requires a level of honesty with yourself and the decisions that you're making because it's about having justice in life but also only through you speaking your truth a lot of you don't really know what your truth is. So a lot of the times we run from the truth. And basically what this means is that you guys do have a desire to be prosperous. I do see that. And successful. And have peace and love and a balance. Like you guys are asking for a balance of things, even with the justice and the, the scale and the chakras and balance. But I feel like you, you're learning to be more in balance of understanding that you can have love, prosperity, peace soul family, healthy relationships, all in one. But this requires not only a level of truth with yourself, but also the perspective of the way that you see things has to shift. All right. So we have warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? So already I'm feeling like source or God is like been calling you like, mm, and you're looking at the phone and you've been doing this. You're looking at your phone and you've been doing this and you're like, ah, oh, I'll call back. And that callback has been a year. And now is the time again that's coming back around in full circle for you to make a decision to be honest with yourself about the decisions that you've been making, to follow the truth, to follow your instincts and not your mind. Again, so throughout my journey, and I don't know why, but deck number four, I'm literally always sharing my story with deck number four. I don't know why. But... I had to go to a place of just completely clearing and wiping away the things that I thought I believed in because a lot of these beliefs were adopted from other people, whether that be my parents, my grandparents, my friends, my teachers. And so you have to get back to you and what you believe. And I mean, I would study myself, literally, because you have to understand your subconscious is picking up so many things. It's like a USB store drive that's just storing all this information, but it's storing bad habits. And they say 90% of your subconscious is programmed, like driving, eating. You know, it's great because we don't have to relearn these things, but you're also um, kind of redoing the same things over and over. It's, it creates patterns. And so I had to get to a place and I was like, the most important thing to me is freedom because I believe that freedom is the key to happiness. But how do you become free? You follow the truth. And so that's why a lot of my teachings are about truth because I believe that the truth will set you free. And this was the message and this was the truth, my truth. 
And so once I figured out what my truth was, it was easier to make decisions. And I kind of see that for you guys, because even with the wait and the postpone, what I'm hearing is now is not the time to make drastic decisions. You will regret them later. I'm literally like, that's literally the sentence. Tell them not to make drastic decisions because they will regret it later. You're not in a place right now to make wise decisions. Allow yourself time to do so. Teach, yeah. So the student becomes the teacher. More inner study is required. Teaching, learning. You're, what are you learning to become your highest version of yourself or your high, reaching your highest potential? Is learning yourself. Who or what are you? Okay, so right now you're in a period of teaching. And so a lot of the beliefs that you have, you're not gonna believe three, four months from now. And so that's why I have the wait here and the postpone because you're going through a moment of being taught about the things that you are to, um, to know. We have celebration and imagination. Envision a new reality. So also what you guys need to learn is how to manifest, okay? how to create and envision a new reality. So the reality that is around you, you have created. The bed that you chose, the car you chose, the house you chose, the rug in the bathroom, all of the decisions, you know, maybe other people have made those decisions, but ultimately your reality, the job you've picked, the relationship, the children, um, the friendships have been based on your decisions. Okay, so basically you need to learn how to create another reality. Okay, so again, group number four, this is a heavy teaching moment of truth. Okay, so this is going to be a lot. I'm not dragging you guys. I'm just being honest, but you're responsible for the reality that you're creating. The results that you're receiving and have been receiving are because of the thoughts that are creating it or the choices and decisions that are creating it. Okay, so it's kind of like you guys are on this loop right now. And so now is about envisioning something new that you really want. Love seems to be something that you want. Peace seems to be something that you want and prosperity. Those are the three things that you really, really enjoy or feel deeply about. Okay. So envision what that looks like for you. Spend some time doing this. And so when you're envisioning these things, you're like, okay, love feels like this, not based on what society has said, or what other people have said, but what does it feel like to you, okay? And also peace, what does peace feel like? What does prosperity feel like? Give yourself permission to dream. A lot of you are being very negative, but again, it's because the negativity is creating or populating that reality. So sprinkle a little bit of positivity into your life, all right? I might have to get a shirt that says that. Um, but yeah, sprinkle a little bit of dreaming, start dreaming. Okay. Being a kid again, going back to that moment when you're a child, there's children here. They're just so anxious to learn like, okay, I've been making these decisions and they're getting me here, but I'm open to learn more so that I can do that. And so that's kind of where you guys are at right now. And so you're believing in unlimited possibilities, not limiting yourself to that. Okay. You don't have to settle. And again, this is not egotistically, this is spiritually, okay? So this isn't about um, egotistical things, but we also have celebration. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success, enjoy your achievements. A lot of you are hard on yourself right now about the things that you're achieving. You feel like you can achieve more, which is great, but also understand what is most important to you is prosperity and abundance. And prosperity and abundance is not just money. It's wealth. It's having people around you that love you unconditionally. It's peace. All right. The emperor. So we have Aries energy and we have Leo energy. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a lot of fire energy on the board. So you guys are very passionate about the things you're going after. But also, we know that with fire signs, there's a little bit of stubbornness involved. I'm not being biased. I'm just saying what the charts say. Um, but yeah, just being open to dreaming and having a positive outcome and shifting and having, because it's hard when you're populating the same results to, to have a more optimistic approach. And so that's what, um, spirit wants you to learn is to be more optimistic about things and allowing things to take, to take place. We have stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans, 
which is great. Ambitious plans for the future are awesome. However, the way that you're approaching them needs to shift. And we're going to get into that. Um, we have strength, strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence and forgiveness. So there's a lot of like care and compassion for yourself and for other people that have been involved. Let's see what else we have. Stay strong in your faith. Let yourself feel all your emotions. So let's see. This is about faith, not giving up on yourself and not giving up on spirit and God. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive outcome or a positive mindset. So your mindset has to change about things. Being more optimistic, starting small, because this is a challenge mentally. A lot of past energy is coming up. This isn't something new. All the decks have had a lot of past energy. So releasing the past and allowing something new to come in, being more ambitious about what it is that you're doing. I feel like you, you guys don't have a problem with that. It's just that the faith behind the ambition is lacking. And staying strong in your faith is having a positive outcome, that things will be different. Also balance. You guys are learning your fullest potential. Again, love, peace, and prosperity requires a balance, okay? So let yourself feel all of your emotions and transcend them. So you guys are also going through and learning how to go through a period of transcending. Like I'm hurt, that's okay. Not blocking it out not um avoiding it but really dealing with that like okay why am i why do i feel this way um because this is going to help you your entire rainbow spectrum which is interesting because we have the rainbow here we have the chakras here there's a balance you're learning balance and speaking truth okay and then and even on her throat her throat chakra is, is highlighted being being honest with yourself is what you guys need to learn how to do and follow the truth like a lot of you know what the truth is, but you're resisting it. And this is prolonging your process. So your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important message and guidance. So if these feelings are coming up and they're the same feelings, they need to be dealt with. And most of this, again, is about truth. So a lot of you like are, are saying, I want freedom, I want happiness, but it requires you to go through the fire and follow the truth. Now your last card is follow your own good advice, okay? trust yourself you know what is best for you so this is about believing in your higher self and also trusting in that so there's a disconnect in spirituality for you guys deck number four where you need to have more of a relationship and established relationship with source so that you feel better about decisions that you're making because a lot of you are making decisions and you're uncertain if they're the right ones, but when you know and you're following the truth and it's the right decision, you will, it will feel right. It'll feel good. It won't be constrained. It won't feel, um, you know, it is, there is sadness that comes with decisions, but it won't feel heavy. You will know it's the right decision, but if you're iffy about it, it's not the right decision. And so following your own advice and trusting yourself is also trusting your higher self. So that having that relationship learning how to establish that like okay you told me to do this and i'm gonna do it and then see what the result is and then establish little bit by little your trust and familiarity with your higher self so that when you're making decisions you will receive the clarity that you need and the path will be clear because there's a lot of confusion and chaos in these decisions that you're making to reach your highest potential celebration is on the other end imagination is on the other end but in order to reach this place of this new reality, it's gonna require you to follow your higher self's advice in doing so. And also having faith and, and getting out of your head a lot with these decisions because you're making decisions uh, strategically, but you need to feel. It's a feeling, right? It's like love and peace and prosperity is a feeling. It's not, it's not believing as much as it is a knowing. You just know, like I always tell you guys, you know your name, that feeling of knowing, you don't even second guess it, right? You don't second guess it, you just know. The, that's the type of relationship you have to have with your spiritual self so that you can call in your tribe in your soul family, being around like-minded individuals that are also on the same path, calling in your prosperity. There's certain paths that spirit is trying to direct you guys in, but again, it relies on your connection with spirit. You have to trust spirit so deeply and heavily. 
And that's the only reason why I'm here today is because I have a certain level of trust of just, just knowing. Sometimes my ego's like, but, but, and then I have to say, okay, I know what the truth is, let it go. So a lot of you guys, is about this is about speaking truth and fairness to yourself and giving yourself a chance to dream. You know, being optimistic about it. Again, sprinkling a little bit of positivity into your life because there's a lot of pessimistic outlooks or negative outlooks. Um, and so that's what you guys are learning too, is that you don't you can be strong for yourself, but your higher self and source is here also. And you're, you're the student, but you're becoming the teacher. So any drastic decisions right now, hold them off and get clarity. How do you get clarity? Get in tune with intuition. How do you get in tune with intuition? Following the truth. What is the truth? What are your instincts telling you? So if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading in what you need to know or learn to reach your highest or fullest potential. If you guys chose deck number four, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement out to you guys. Remember, love and light, you guys are on a journey. Be patient with yourself, allow things to unfold. And thank you for supporting me and tuning in to this pick a card reading. Until the next pick a card reading, see you guys soon.